Ladies and gentlemen, today's video is sponsored by Simply Safe, and I am very excited about this video because I've been holding on to this clip for weeks to show you guys just why you need Simply Safe outdoor cameras. It's moments like these that make paying for a security system so well worth it, especially when it's already an affordable system, but when you catch your friends on camera doing something stupid. <laughs> Got a notification right to my phone that my boy Crispy was pulling out on a Saturday, took out my freaking concrete barrier. That thing's probably worth $5,000 in sentimental value to me because I painted it myself. And Crispy's out here running it over. Simply Safe camera coming in clutch for me. And I mean, outdoor cameras is just one of many pieces of equipment they have. Let's go to my next personal favorite. I talk about this one every time we do an ad for Simply Safe. This is the wireless deadbolt. I think we did our first Simply Safe ad about two years ago, and that's when I installed this. Basically, you just order the equipment you want online, select from all their devices. They send it to you and it's super easy to install. I installed this myself two years ago, it took maybe 10 minutes, and this thing still works perfect. Never have changed the batteries. Boop. Freaking awesome equipment. So not only have you guys seen that I use Simply Safe at my house, I use it at the Freedom Factory. It's been here longer than my homes. So everything still works perfectly. So not only are you buying an affordable system, it lasts a long time. It's high quality equipment. And today you guys can save 20% on your first Simply Safe order by visiting simplysafe.com slash Cletus. At the very least guys, get the outdoor camera and definitely get the wireless deadbolt. That is one of my favorite things. You can unlock and lock your doors from your phone. It's so nice to have. So check it out after the video. Again, 20% off your first order, simplysafe.com slash Cletus. Let's get to the live action. Hell yeah, brother. You're on the Cletus Confron YouTube channel. Hold it. That was beautiful. That was nice. All right, good morning, guys. We are on the last day of sick week. Old Dr. Tunamal is checking our valve lash. Yeah, we're just gonna get race ready over here and then drive over to the track. We are allowed to use our shop, guys. Don't get that rule mixed up. As long as we're not racing yet, we're good. Dude, just passed 100K subs. 100,000 subs, 100 dude. Subs. Go be the 100,000 and first. Go, so, go sub to Dr. Tunamal. Come on. Dude, hell yeah, quit your job. I know. Killing it. Paid off. Let's go. <laughs> Let's see what this thing sounds like on this beautiful Friday morning. I gotta check mine. Oh. <laughs> Dang it. Did you guys your two steps? Not yet. Oh, About okay. to though. It's Friday morning. Right, and there's nothing better first thing on drag day than a two step test. A two step test. Two step test! Big burn 
Starting out by a Ruby over here. We're both looking for eight. Parker goes at 8.42. warmed up a little bit. Right about track temp. Felt strong. Car felt good. I don't think it was crazy fast, but it felt good. Good job, mullet. Making it back. Oh, I think we do up the valve. 730 flat at 193. Woo! Yeah, so we're missing some time in the short track. Only a 476 at 154. We really need to go like a 465. 193, that's the best mile an hour yet. Oh, baby. I'm pretty sure I restarted, I heard it down a cylinder. Yeah. Had to have tulip the valve, yeah. I don't know what's gotten into me, but I'm disappointed with a 7.3. Used to be like insane for me. <laughs> yeah, now I'm like, ah. Oh. What's the fastest mile an hour this thing That's, That is it. So, yeah, I mean, at least. Making the power, if I would have hit it a little bit earlier, it would have definitely yeah. been faster. But I didn't want to hit it too hard. Yeah, it went a 475 and still went a 730. You know, when it went a. I didn't bring a lot in, like, to the 60 foot. That 60 foot was the same as yesterday. Yeah. I knew it would go down with that. Yep. I was hoping for a 121, 122, 60. It pulled we hard mid track, though, yeah. Or we should probably stop where we're at before we end up with a valve in the cylinder as much as i want to go sixes with this thing and like just right there you see that mile an hour this thing will go sixes i know it's probably a smarter idea to not yeah. just kill it because if that breaks off it's gonna destroy the motor it's gonna versus, destroy everything okay we can throw valves in it and come back and do this again. all right all right i like the call there i like the call end of the run we were 74 psi oh perfect all right so the oil pressure is good we just got 28.3 pounds of boost that went Woo! 192, almost 192. Not even 30 pounds of boost going 192 miles an hour. Ah! Oh. All right, well here's our last slip, turning in. See if we had a seven second average, it's gonna be close. Hey, 788. Hooray! Big W! <laughs> Not a six, but it's close. It's a seven. Hey, even with our nine five, we average a 788 for the week. If we would have been able to get one more hit at Gainesville, we would have probably like a 750. It would have been, yeah. That's cool, though. Seven, yeah. I mean, if we hit at Gainesville, we would have got third. Let's go, Sam! Is that all pump gas? No, that's so it's like. I was like, what in the world? <laughs> it has three quarters of a tank and it's got a little yeah, E90 in it. I got you. Got some ignite red. All right. Go get them, Y'all need a 50 right here. 
literally need a 50. You've been waiting oh, all day. I think you only get one hit. I think so. Got an 11 out. Yep. Looks like the 60 foot just slowed down a little yeah, bit. Slow down a little on 60. Yeah. Yeah, if we get another run, we'll take it. But if not, no big deal. There you go, brother. Have fun. Oh, that seatbelt, man. You. <laughs> Have fun, Sam. Thank you. We got Sam out here in the Marauder. strong down through there so I uh, just you know roll through the finish probably went a little too fast all right I should have stayed in it all the way but I did it I lifted and I went at 858 with a five 
Not a bad pass to end it off Dude, on. I thought them guys under that Dr. Pepper car ran a tighter shift. They never caught me, so I was like, I'm either going way too fast or they went way too slow. Yeah, you beat Dr. Pepper. So I just rolled out of it a little bit, won a 50 into the five. Yeah. Puts me in fourth overall and hey. above, above Dr. Pepper. That's all we came here to do. <laughs> That's all that mattered. Dude, that energy was right in that burnout. I know. The burnout made the ending of the whole okay. competition great. It's just a dial in the river. I know. Proven. I know. No problems this week. Besides the unbalanced wheels, but that's not yeah. her fault. So. Oh, they were one wet burnout too long, I think. On them. Yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. All right, guys, we're doing a little post race award ceremony. We did not win any awards, unfortunately. So we're out of our own award ceremony. We didn't win anything. We're all done. Yeah, we're all we're done. All done. <laughs> so really happy with how the Marauder finished, with how Ruby finished, and the Elko finished well with a 730, 193. But obviously not what we wanted, but uh, it was still a good week. We finished, but we're going to end it off there. Thanks for watching. Do it for the L. Wolf Reach, and see you later.